Welcome to the course on Spintronics. We're going to talk about uh, a brief introduction. And uh, the first thing I would like to mention is a simple experiment that uh, anybody can do. And that has to do with Earth's magnetic field and compass. So if the experiment is as follows. Uh, if I take a compass and put it on a table so a compass is a device that shows us the north south west and east uh, this can be a pocket com uh, compass uh, we put it on a table and we will see that there is a needle on the compass which shows us after a few oscillations the uh, the north direction so the needle the compass needle after a few oscillations will point towards north so when we say north uh, what do we mean is it the geographical north or some other north that is close to the geographical north uh, so i would like to uh, ask you to watch a video uh, so i'm going to have uh, some part of it here uh, and i uh, strongly recommend that you watch the rest of the video as well so here we go Compasses show directions, but how do they actually work? Compasses have a freely spinning needle, which is a magnet. As the Earth is a giant magnet, the compass and the Earth act as any two magnets do. The north pole of the compass is attracted to the south magnetic pole of the Earth. Now this is a rather confusing part. The north pole, geographically as we think about it, is actually a south magnetic pole. But all you really need to know is that the Earth is a giant magnet, which is why we can use compasses to show us which way north is. Okay, so uh, this is the case. The Earth will act as a giant magnet and the compass will point towards the uh, magnetic uh, south pole, uh, which is uh, the close to the geographical north pole of the Earth. So this observation will give us two fundamental questions. And the first question uh, that we can ask is basically what causes magnetic fields? And the related question here is uh, basically what causes the Earth's magnetic field? So what is the origin of the Earth's magnetic field? And the second related question is because I have a compass which shows me uh, a, a direction that is close to pointing towards the geographical north or uh, close to the geographical north so the question is what is the origin of the needles magnetic field the compass needle uh, actually is producing a magnetic field so that is interacting with the Earth's magnetic field so what is the uh, origin of the needles magnetic field and the second question is when you have a magnetic field what are the effects of this magnetic field on the surroundings
Okay, so uh, I would like to give some uh, short answers to these questions. Uh, so for short answers, I can say the following. Uh, for the first question, what causes uh, magnetic fields? Uh, we basically see that electrical charge in motion creates a magnetic field So, uh, if you look at what is the origin of Earth's magnetic field, we have, um, in the case of Earth, Earth's magnetic field, we can say is uh, due to metallic ions that are uh, floating in magma um, so as the earth spins these ions are basically moving around and we have also convection currents so due to um, motion of um, hot objects which are um, charged objects that's, the, that's convection uh, heat flow by convection we have convection currents that also produces a magnetic uh, field. Now for the second question uh, what is the origin of the needle's magnetic field? Uh, well we can say it's uh, dominantly on the microscopic scale uh, due to orbital and spin angular momentum of electrons. The orbital contribution is uh, quenched most of the time uh, so it's mostly a spin contribution but uh, in general if it's not uh, quenched then we have both contributions orbital and spin angular momentum of electrons so for the earth's magnetic field we have convection currents uh, metallic ions floating in magma and in the case of the needle we have a mostly spin angular momentum of electrons with po some possible contribution from orbital uh, angular momentum of electrons as well. Now uh, what effect does a magnetic field have on its surroundings? Well basically magnetic fields can magnetize magnetic objects and this magnetization is due to magnet, magnetizing process is due to uh, magnetic forces so uh, we're going to address in this uh, video the following issues. Um, so let's make a to-do list for the rest of our uh, discussion. So we're going to address, well, we will try to basically go over these questions and answers in detail and we're going to address the following issues. Uh, first, you will see that 
uh, units the unit system that we use in magnetism is mostly a combination of CGS and SI so one needs to know uh, both unit systems in order to uh, discuss magnetism uh, or to to read magnetism literature so we have to be familiar with CGS and SI units and we have to be familiar with experimental techniques like magnetometry uh, that uh, measures the magnetic parameters of interest um, we will talk about kinds of magnetism so when we say magnetic materials their characteristics uh, change um, we name them as ferromagnetic ferrimagnetic paramagnetic diamagnetic anti-ferromagnetic etc so we have uh, different types of magnetism then we will talk about uh, magnetic phenomena so uh, in the kinds of magnetism we will also uh, talk about the atomic theory a little bit and in magnetic phenomena we will discuss uh, anisotropy magnetostriction domain nucleation magnetic reversal processes etc and in the last part of this uh, course we will talk about uh, magnetic devices and applications so this will be uh, mostly uh, spintronic devices that we will talk about okay so briefly I have introduced uh, our main problem here in magnetism uh, we can start with uh, the basic experiment uh, the fundamental experiment you take a compass you put it on the table the compass needle after a few oscillations points towards north and basically we see that this is an interaction between the needle and earth's magnetic field the question is what's the origin of earth's magnetic field and what is the origin of needles magnetic field and what are the effects of magnetic fields on their surroundings uh, well the short answers are electrical charge in motion creates a magnetic field Earth's magnetic field is due to floating ions in the magma that are moving around as the Earth spins uh, plus convection currents and uh, the origin of the needle's magnetic field is mostly due to spin angular momentum of electrons on the microscopic uh, scale plus some contribution from orbital angular momentum and the magnetic fields tend to magnetize magnetic objects we will talk about this in more detail and so uh, briefly in this course we will be uh, addressing units and measurements kinds of magnetism uh, the most important magnetic phenomena that we encounter their uh, applications in magnetic devices so um, the video that uh, we have seen uh, only a short portion of i recommend that you watch fully and i will also put a link for another video that explains uh, some fun facts about earth's magnetic field and how earth's uh, magnetic poles can switch in time uh, which is uh, something that may affect uh, also uh, our lives because uh, the mag magnetic a field of the earth acts as a barrier for uh, many uh, damaging uh, particles from the sun to uh, uh, charged particles from the sun to enter our atmosphere so that's very important uh, for life to exist on earth